this was a job I did while I was working at uh, Medicus Life Brands, a division of Publicis. I like to make a, a layer comp of before and after. And uh, there's the base layer, the raw shot. And then I put a little mask on the top of it. A uh, little retouching. I had to, we were going to use a new toothbrush. There's more of a, of a feather or a ghosting for the top. A little blue gradient. And that's clipped. A uh, little retouching on the background so that there's room for a new toothbrush. And there's part of the new toothbrush, the handle. And there's the new toothbrush. Uh, masked out what I didn't want to show. There's the mask. Little color adjustment for for the toothbrush. Again, I clipped it so it only affects the layer below it. You just option click between two layers to do that. There's a mask for the head. Uh, used channel mixer. Channel mixer is a great tool. If you don't have information in your magenta channel or some other, say your yellow channel, you can take the grayscale information from the other channels and convert that to the missing color. Sometimes it can save you when a file is missing information in one of the channels. And there's a whole group for the uh, toothbrush for the foreground, which was out of focus. So we had to match that. And I did that uh, by using a smart object uh, with a Gaussian blur on it. And the great thing about smart objects with smart filters is uh, that's what it looks like without any effect or filtering. Um, you just close that. But uh, you can see you can toggle your blur on and off and if you want it more blurred or less blurred you can go there and change the parameters and it's non-destructive you can always go back so if an art director wants more or less or something different you can do that without having to rebuild anything you just change the math in the box it's beautiful there's a curve for the eyes it's just a little dark I'm going to open it up A uh, little thing sometimes say a lot. And again, there's my uh, before and after. I can make a new state if I want. Call it X. It's nice to have these things, uh, these states, because you can sort of toggle between and make sure you haven't turned anything off. When you work with files with a lot of layers, it's easy to turn something on or off that shouldn't be. Um, and uh, so having a reference point kind of eliminates that to a great deal. Um, before and after. I like her better after. Makes me want to brush my teeth. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.